You don't have any right to humiliate me in front of a man who has made me the best job offer in my life. All right, you've made your point. I'm sorry. It was bad timing. Hello? Yes, he's right here. It's for you. It's a Mrs. Woodring. Great. Hi, Fran. How are you? Well, that's great. Yeah, that's terrific. I'll be right over then. Okay, thanks. Bye. It's my real estate agent. She's found me an apartment. You know the one you like on Bayberry Street? This one's right next door. I don't believe it. What's the matter? Well, with you trying to ride herd on me here and Tom trying to control my life from Pine Valley, I think Laura and I ought to move to Chicago. What? I'm fed up. I've had it. Eavesdrop on Ross and Cynthia. Well, let's not focus on how I got the information. Don't you want to know what he said? You mean to say you skulked he behind the door? He said, and, and I quote, you know perfectly well that damn boy is not my son. So what? So what? Palmer, that means... Ross is right. Do you know that that means Cynthia has done something to those blood tests? I don't know what, but she did something and that boy is not your grandson. I, I really can't believe that my wife would stoop so low as to stalk her own guests. They're not my guests. Yes, they are, and with the intention of listening to things that are none of your business. Everything that happens in my house is my business. Expected more of you, Daisy. I really did. I am shocked. Well, all right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about the eavesdropping part. I am. I hated to eavesdrop. I didn't want to. Mm -hmm. But now that I have and it's all out, then you've got to face that what I heard is the truth, and you've got to believe me. Well, if you heard this conversation, why have you waited to now until to reveal all of this information? Why? 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 But look at you. Look how you're reacting. I knew you would take it that way, and I couldn't face that, all right? Let me walk here to see you, and there's that rotten Andrew sitting on the couch, and he's giving you the biggest snow job I ever heard. Of course I had to tell you. You're jealous. He's a con man. No, he is not trying to con man. He, he appreciates me. And I, I want to tell you something. His, his enthusiasm is like a, a breath of fresh air. Really? Yes, well, I'm not talking is. about his enthusiasm. I'm talking about the fact that he's not Ross's son. Ross lies. Why? Why would Ross lie to the mother of his son? Because Ross hates me. Is this the Palmer Cortland that has made such a success in business and is so shrewd in what he sees in the world that he has a full page in who's who? Oh. Is this the woman I married? The Daisy Cortland, warm, gracious. Now she's got her ear glued to the keyholes, right? One and the same. I always did that. Just now I'm doing it for you. Well, Daisy, next time, please. All right? Just don't bother, all right? Because I want to tell you, I am sick of Ross's lies. I just keep thinking that if I'd been more adamant about what I really want, we wouldn't be fighting all the time like this. What do you really want? Some peace. A home that's a refuge, not a battlefield. Nina, do you think you can still have that? I don't know. Well, how do you feel about him? I mean, I know he's your husband, but uh, do you still love him? Yes. Yes, I do. That's all there is. That's what you fight for, Nina. Forget the arguments and the hassles and the miscommunication. That's what you stand behind, your love for your own husband. <sighs> you always know how to say just the right thing. <laughs> It's only because I care. Hi. Am I interrupting? No, no, of course not. I can come back uh, if you're busy. No, no, of course not. Shall I ring for some tea? Hmm? Um, well, I really don't want to bother you if you're working what, and what, I've what, already... What, what, what's that you're hiding behind your back? Nothing. Come on, what is it? Well, I couldn't resist. Is that for me? It is for you. Go on and open it. Come on now, you. 
Shouldn't have brought me a present. Well, I wanted to. What is that? It's a red, white, and blue tie for election day. Oh, 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 I see. Oh, well, my goodness, that's, that's perfect. I perfect. thought it would make you look patriotic and distinguished. Yeah? Well, how do you like it? Okay. <laughs> I love it. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Did you vote? Mm-hmm. Yep, the minute the, the polls were open. How about you? I was absentee. I sent my ballot in last week. Oh, yes, I forgot. I, I forgot. You, you, uh, you haven't changed your legal residence, have you? No, but that's okay. I've been voting absentee for years. Yes, I know, I know. It's not a very good way to live, you know, and it certainly isn't very healthy for, for Andrew. That's why I'd like to provide you with something that uh, you've been lacking. The stability. A home. People who care for you. You've been very good to us, Palmer. Well, I've been pretty good to Andrew. I think I've neglected his mother. <laughs> no, don't be silly. You've been wonderful to uh, me. I knew you're, you're not driving a spiffy new sports car. You're not riding your own thoroughbred. Palmer, I don't need expensive trappings to be happy. Cynthia, you seem to be the living embodiment of maternal sacrifice. Well, it's... Because of what you said before, that's what's most important to me, a home and stability. Yes, but you're used to excitement, adventure. I mean, Pine Valley, that's, uh, it's, it's not exactly New York or Paris. Now listen, I don't want you to make any protest. It, it, what I really don't want is for you to get bored. That's why I've come up with this little idea. I, well, let's call it a present, all right? You shouldn't have. Now, come on. I want you call June Hagen and invite her to visit here. Now, I know that you're very best friends and that you miss her. You've seen the phone, Bill. <laughs> no, come on. Now, I want you to call her. Call her and, and invite her. Tell her to stay as, as long as she likes. Are you kidding? It's all right? Yeah. I wouldn't put you in any trouble? Of course it's all right. Oh, Palmer. You are the kindest, most generous oh, man I have okay. ever known. Now, we have all this room here. We have a full staff of servants. And listen, tell her to bring her riding clothes, all right? I don't know what to say. Thank you, Palmer. Oh, it's a pleasure. It really is. After all, June Hagen is the one who helped me find you. And Andrew. Mrs. Valentine said I could come right on in. Uh, yes, you're very prompt, Donna. Well, she said it was urgent. Uh, indeed, it is. Uh, sit, sit down, please. Thank you. Is this about the Glamorama? I wanted to give you one last chance. To do what? To move out of that sordid love nest with Tom Cuddy. <sighs> Mrs. Wallingford, I told you... I know what you told me. But I must warn you that if you continue to live in that house without benefit of clergy, you are going to lose forever your chance for my share of the Glamorama. Now, it's up to you. Well, I'm sorry. I don't care what you think of me or my morals. I love Tom, and I am not moving out. Is that your final decision? Yes. Very well, then. It gives me great pleasure to tell you that I am selling my share of the business and accepting a cash payment for same. Now, with this signature, I am no longer your partner in business. Now, would you like to meet your new co-partner? Oh, very well. Come out, please. Hi, Donna. Tad Martin. This is your new partner, the person that you'll be working with from now on. That's right, Donna. Thanks to your stubborn, immoral behavior, you are now going to have to deal with this callow neophyte and his wife. And with the three of you running the Glamorama, I predict bankruptcy within six weeks. <laughs> 